All right, here we go again. Day two with the new Lodge Grill. Yeah, let's see here. Um, tonight we're doing chicken kebabs. I've got a new angle with the camera. I think that we'll uh, focus more on the food. So I thought I'd zoom in a little bit. We got our charcoals ready to dump. Let's go ahead and get them set up. Still using 40. Counted them right out. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we had 40. All right. Get our griddle on there. Let it heat up. We'll clean it from last night. And we'll be ready to grill shortly. All right. Let's get started. I think we are set and ready. And I can't stress enough, uh, just uh, in the last couple of days, the amount of time that it takes to to heat up these charcoals is like nothing. I mean, if you get them going, a couple pieces of newspaper, 15 minutes, you're in there prepping everything else, I would have been preheating the gas grill for at least that long. So if I was in a hurry, I could definitely get a good flow going. Okay, I've got uh, a little oil on my uh, rag here. I just want to kind of oil and clean uh, the surface of my grill. Alright, let's put these babies on. See what happens. Woo! Don't she purr. <laughs> oh, it smells good already. I'm going to cook these for about 20 minutes. I'll rotate them about every five. See how they turn out. Man, they smell delicious. Uh, just uh, marinated the chicken overnight in uh, half Italian salad dressing, half teriyaki sauce from Buff Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, three cloves of garlic uh, minced. Stir that up good, uh, chop the chicken, threw it in a, all in a freezer bag, marinate it overnight, and then assembled the skewers when I got home from work today with the chicken, bell pepper, and onion. I got a little uh, side dish of marinade over here that I'll baste uh, the skewers with. All right, we just flipped them for the first time. You might see some of the little char marks on top and really start to smell that grilled flavor at this point. Got a little uh, marinade here I just kind of hit the uh, grilled part with. Yeah, that's just uh, a little more teriyaki and olive or uh, Italian salad dressing just to help keep things a little moist. All right, we're ready to turn the kebabs for the third time for the, on the third side, if you can imagine four sides. I want to point out before I turn it that on both kebabs, uh, this uh, bell pepper and this bell pepper, you might notice are, are sticking up a little high. Uh, even this one here, I don't think that one's an issue, but these two kind of are. So I'm a little concerned when I flip it, is it going to lay well for me so that's a definitely a good note to, to mental note for when you're you're preparing them to uh, kind of keep that in mind so let's just see what happens ah, 
can't explain it, but uh, I guess because they're getting steamed through pretty good that they're a little more flexible or pliable or whatever. They, oh, now that one was hateful. Let's see, maybe I can get him up there. There you go. I'll use him as a kickstand against the other guy. Uh, okay, so that's definitely a good mental note. And we can go ahead and put another basting on the cooked side here. That's the first time I've ever done kebabs. These are metal skewers. And, you know, there's, there's not a lot of friction on metal. And I read somewhere that they, you know, your, your vegetables and your meat that you put on, on metal skewers, if you just run one skewer through it, they'll kind of spin on you and not, not do real well. And therefore, the, the, wood, the wooden skewers will do a little better for you. Um, but I already had the, the metal ones. I picked them up somewhere along the way. And... So my dad actually had a good idea to double them up, run the two through there, and then they wouldn't be able to spin like that. So I tried that, and it sure as heck worked. So we're off and running. I want to. Look you. While it's on my mind, I want to show you a couple more features about the uh, Lodge uh, charcoal grill. This is actually a door. If you put it down, you've got access to your charcoal. So if you need to add charcoal while it's hot, you know, you can certainly go through here and uh, be able to manage pretty well. If you want to add some, some hickory wood chips or whatever flavor wood chip, you can get in there that way with those. Down here, you've got a draft door. Everything's hot, so you don't want to touch anything, but when it you know running but uh, the draft door you just slide it side to side to allow air to flow in under the charcoal and up and it'll increase your heat as needed it also slides either way fresh cracked pepper base keep them moist If you get interested in one of these guys, I bought it on Amazon. I searched around for the best price, and the best price I could find was on Amazon. I got it for $95, and that included free shipping. And it came like within, I ordered it on a Sunday, and it came on a Tuesday. So 33 pounds, got here quick. Couldn't be happier. Wow. I really wish you could smell these. Gosh, I hope I never get used to the smell of charcoal grilling. They just smell wonderful. You know how you can get used to things? Well, I hope I don't. Let's turn these guys again. Get a little more. This side, baste them again. By the way, you'll notice how the the grate that we're cooking on uh, has four little legs on it. You can actually invert the grate if you want a lower cooking surface, if you want to get closer to the coals. So there could be a need for that at some point and if so you just start out with it upside down the, the four little legs they'll be kind of poking up and you just avoid those and you're good to go we are ready to eat let's pull these babies and sit down at the table Ooh 